Hello! Uh, today I'm starting a project to expand this battery. Now currently it's four of these uh, 33, no 32, 140 cells. So 32 millimetres diameter, 140 millimetres length. These are sodium ion. So as it stands, um, if you take these to four volts, this will be 16 volts at the top. If you take them down to two volts, it'll be eight volts at the bottom. Now I want to expand this to eight cells. That will be 32 volts at the top, 16 volts at the bottom. And I do have four more of these cells. So here they are in this box. And I also have um, two more end caps. Four really, I suppose, because these are pairs, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, so, okay, I've got all the bits to um, take that up to eight cells in series. Now, these sodium ion cells came from EV Pro Max. Um, they've got an AliExpress store called the V2 Plus store. So I will put a link to uh, this item on AliExpress. Okay, balancing. I'm going to use these very tiny balancers. Now, they're very low current. I think they quote maximum one amp, although it's unlikely they'll get there. Um, and the reason for that is because the slope for sodium ion is, is not very flat in the middle like lithium ion phosphate. And that means that really these can be at any state of charge and you will have the potential to balance them. So they can be middle balanced or center balanced. Um, I don't intend to top balance these or bottom balance them because I don't intend them to get up to a full top charge and I don't intend them to empty down to a full bottom charge so they'll always be balancing around the middle and I think um, given long enough and uh, you know this thing will sit in in the shed I intend this to be used for lighting in the shed um, at a sort of middle state of charge these little balancers I think will be fine now I don't need all of these I'm going to go with a three four three arrangement so a 3s balancer a 4s balancer and a 3s balancer with overlaps between the three and the four and the four and the three and that will work as an eight cell balancer i'm not going to bother with a bms because i don't really think that's necessary if i ensure that um these are never overcharged and never undercharged. And in fact, actually with sodium ion, you don't need to worry about uh, discharging them down to zero volts. They're okay. Uh, they don't um, cause problems like dendrite growth if you go right down to zero volts. So it won't matter if they get over discharged. So lighting in the shed, for example, if I accidentally leave the light on, which I occasionally do, and it's on all night and these drain right down to zero, it's not a problem. So I don't need a BMS. Now I want to try and add these extra cells without taking these end caps off because although I can take those cable ties out and replace them I don't really want to have to take these uh, welded straps off. I am going to have to remove this welded strap because I won't be going across there I'll be going up to the next uh, row of cells but what I want to do now is just try and bend these out and try and get the extra cells in. If I can do that, it'll save me a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah, it seems that's possible. So let's do one on camera. If I push that in there and just bend these out. Yeah, that just drops in. So that's no problem. So yeah, I can get my, uh, that's three by two. I can get two more cells in the top and then I'll probably go for the same technique of putting cable ties through these midpoints just to hold the end caps together and then I'll need to do some spot welding. Right now I'm feeding the cable ties through so let's put that in there. Oh don't want to pull that too far through that I lose it. A couple of clicks on there put this one through here. A few clicks on there okay I think that's ready to tighten. Oops, Matt's all gone awry. Okay, so those I can tighten up. They just hold these end caps on. Um, and that's my block of four by two. So then I need to think about the spot welding. 
Right, uh, now this strap across here is going to have to come off because I need to replace it with one across there, one across there and then one across the top there. So I'm hoping that this one didn't weld particularly well because I think I was a bit tentative with my welding. I might cut that actually so that I can then peel it back uh, and I can get these off so I can replace them. Oh yeah, those welds are quite soft actually, or quite minimal. <laughs> yes, that didn't weld particularly well at all. I now weld with sort of longer duration weld pulses, but in a way this has been quite handy because I can get that off nice and easily. Good. Now I can weld across here and then across the top and then, uh, oh, those will be vertical, won't they? And these, these will be vertical, but that'll be horizontal. I think that's right. I better be careful not to get this wrong. Otherwise there'll be some lots of melted metal. Right, I think I might use the super capacitor spot welder for this because I haven't used it uh, for a while. So let's try and get that all in shot. Uh, take the felt tip pen caps off and just let the probes slide out. Okay, that's the neg probe. Let's just do the pause probe. If I can get the thing to come out, yeah. Not too far. Okay, about there. Right, I've cut some uh, 50 mil strips which should fit across there. And what I might do is hold one end on with a magnet while I spot weld the first end. Right, turn on the spot welder, see what it's charged to. And it's charged to five volts, that should be fine. Uh, I've got three milliseconds and three milliseconds for my two pulses with 10 milliseconds between them. That should be fine. Okay, let's do the first weld. Okay, that feels good. Next one. A few sparks, which is good. Okay, so that's that one done. Now I can take the magnet off. Oh, it sticks to the steel strip, of course, doesn't it? So I'll try and flatten that down a bit. Right, let's try that. Um, keep slipping with these, don't I? Getting some good sparks, so that's good. Right, so that's one strip on. Uh, would you like to see another one done on camera? Why not? Okay, so that's held on with the magnet on the pause end. Let's weld the neg end. Whoops. Everything's sliding about. Okay. Now, without shorting these probes and without disturbing this too much, I've got to be careful with that because I don't want it to touch the outside metal work. So let's take it off with some pliers. Okay, that's good. And now spot weld on the pause. These sparks are flying up into my face. I am wearing glasses. Uh, I have to, to be able to see what I'm doing, but they are protecting me. Okay, so that side's done. Now on the other side, um, I'm gonna need up on these two and then across the top there. Uh, so I've got some more strips. There's no sense in doing this on camera. You've seen spot welding. Oh, go on then. One more bit of spot welding on here. Do the pause where there was a strip which I pulled off and now remove the magnet and weld the negative end I mean I could do four welds if I choose to
didn't do it on the others, but why not? And now the final strip is the one that goes across here, which mirrors the two end points. So this is my main, or pause, my main neg. So let's get this one spot welded on, on the positive side first. Okay, that's good. Take the magnet off and just slide it off and do the negative end. Oops, I slipped a bit there. Let's do four, why not? Four pairs, that is. Right, I think that's all the spot welding. I'll just check the voltage across the main pos and neg. Okay, main neg, main pos. What does that say? Oh, it's not focused. Um, 26.09, is that about right? 26 volts. The cells should be around about three volts each. Three eighths of 24, yeah, so say they're about 3.2 volts each. No, 3.25 volts each, that would be 26 volts, wouldn't it? Okay, that's good. Good, so that's my uh, 8S sodium ion battery uh, so 32 volts top 16 volts bottom uh, next probably won't do it today but next um, i need the balancers put on there then the cell voltage monitors which haven't arrived yet and yeah then it's kind of ready to go i think